What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, where today we will be reviewing Marvel Legends Mystique from the X-Men movie. Alright, so let's get right into it. So here is Mystique. She looks way, way better in hand than she does in any, like, product images, man. I'm like, this figure is a really nice saw. I mean, I couldn't believe how good this figure was in hand. It looks so good. I remember when I looked at the product images and, and when they first announced her, I was like, meh. But then, like... I actually got her for a really good deal at Target. I think it was like seven bucks on clearance. I mean, it was ridiculous. I was like, wow, that was a steal. So yeah, that that's it was a really good deal, but she is a really nice figure, man. You know. I would definitely add her to the collection if you're on the fence. So she comes with the changing human arm. Which it's kind of weird, it only has one arm, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it'd make more sense to have two, I don't know, nah, maybe not, but, yeah, it's a cool little effect, and then she comes with the two fist hands, I mean, I kind of wish she came with, like, a, a human head, like her, uh, Rebecca Romaine Stamos head from the movies, so that's how she looks like with the comic version of Mystique. About the same height. Um, do a little head swap here. The comic head actually looks pretty good on the movie body. It's actually a really nice... I, I like that. It looks really nice, but... The only thing is the shade of blue. But other than that, it looks pretty cool. There's the movie head on the comic body. Again, the shade of blue is off, so. And then I have the old, old uh, Marvel Legends Mystique head from, I don't know, I forget what wave it was, but way back they had, I, I want to say like Hitmonkey or one of those like, 2013 12 ish i don't i don't know uh this i don't have the body for this but i kept the head so let's see how it looks and there she is that that that's a really nice head that's why i kept it but it looks really good really really good on her again the shade of blue different but it looks nice. And it also goes well on the comic version. The Walgreens, I should say. We have the, the rogue uh, mystique head. Kind of goes in there good, but again, shade of blue. And here she is with the full-on rogue head with forever, if you wanted to do that. So the pros and cons of the X-Men movie Mystique. Uh, well, you get a good, solid X-Men movie figure in Mystique. I mean, it's a really nice, nice, nice looking figure. Also, you have this nice, this pretty cool looking 
arm changing effect. That's pretty cool. Uh, for the cons, I don't know. I guess I wish it maybe it would have came with a human head. Like a Rebecca Romaine Stamos head. That would have been cool, but it's, I mean, it's kind of nitpicking, but yeah. And maybe another arm or a human uh, hand, another human hand. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video, and I will see you next time. Later.